Hey guys, my name is Bryce, and in this video, I'll be showing you how to connect to an SFP server in Azure Data Factory. In this example, I'll be using SFP Gateway as our SFTP server. To begin the process of connecting to our SFTP server, in our Data Factory on the home page, I'm going to select Ingest. On the Properties tab, I'm going to keep the default values of the built-in copy task and the run once now for the task cadence, and then I'm going to click Next to configure the source. Since we want to connect to our SFTP server, under the source type, search for SFTP and select the value. Then, under the connection, we're going to create a new connection. Here, on the new connection page, is where you're going to configure the details for connecting to your SFTP server. For the name and the integration runtime, I'm just going to use the default values. And for the host, this would either be the IP address or host name of your server. Since I'm using an IP address, I'll just copy that for my server and paste that here. <coughs> for the SSH host key validation, I'm going to enable SSH host key validation, but I'll get into that later. For the authentication type, you can either use BASIC, a public key, or MFA, but in this example I'm going to be using BASIC, and I'm going to specify the name of my SFTP user here. So it would just be SFTP-user, and under the password I'll specify that here. Now that we've configured the password, let's get back to the SSH host key fingerprint. So, something interesting I found out is that you don't even need to know the correct host key for your server. If you put in a wrong value like test for example, and then use the test connection feature, we'll see that it failed. But if we examine the error message, we'll see that Azure Data Factory actually gives us the, the real fingerprint for our server. So you can copy that error, then remove the nonsense, paste in the host key and then run the test connection again and you'll see that it's succeeded. So since everything looks good I'll just click create. Now that I've configured the connection I'm going to select the exact folder I want to copy from. So click browse and I'll just select my inbound folder. And then for the options, I'm going to be selecting the binary and recursively copy options. And now that I've configured everything the way I like, I'm going to click Next. On this page, we'll be selecting our destination data store. And for this example, I'll be connecting to Azure Blob Storage. And I'm going to create a new connection. On this page, you'll specify the details for connecting to your storage account and container. So I'm just going to leave everything as the default up until my Azure subscription, which I'll select. And then I'll select my storage account as Bryce. And for the test connection, since I want to connect to my specific container, I'll specify my ADF container and the directory I want to copy my files into, which is the processing directory. And once everything looks good, you can use the test connection at the bottom. And if it succeeds, you can click Create. Now that we've configured the connection, the next thing we need to specify is the folder path. So I'll just be using the same as I used before for the ADF container and the processing folder. And the final thing I'm just going to specify is the copy behavior. I want to preserve the hierarchy. So I'll select this, and finally, I'll click Next. On the Settings page, you're able to configure the task name, as well as selecting if you want to enable logging or staging. But since I just want to use the default values, I'm going to click Next. Then you see a summary of your pipeline, where we want to copy data from our SFTP into Azure Blob Storage. Before we start the pipeline and actually begin transferring data over, let's see exactly what we want to transfer over. Currently, I'm connected as my SFTP user, the same one I specified in my initial connection in ADF, and what we want to transfer is the folders in our inbound folder. So we have about six folders, no, maybe like a dozen, half a dozen files in each, not a, not a super lot. So 
what we want to do is transfer all these folders and files from this inbound folder into our ADF container and this processing folder which as you can see if I look in there's currently no data there so the next step is to actually begin the pipeline and start copying over IData from our SFTP user over to our container if everything on the summary page looks good, you can click next and this will begin the copying of the data from the SFTP to Azure Blob Storage. So we'll click next and you'll see it's running through the deployment steps. And now that everything has completed and succeeded, we can click finish. Now that our pipeline has successfully run, we're back in our ADF container to see if the data has populated. So, nothing here. Let's click refresh. And as you can see, it has successfully transferred over the six folders and the files within them as well. And that's all for this video. If you haven't already, please check out our other SFP Gateway related videos and content. And as always, have a splendid day.